A revealing new book out today gives an inside look into former President Trump's time in the White House. The concern that McMaster had about Rudy Giuliani, who was a constant presence uh, throughout the four years and was directly involved with two impeachments, uh, you write, H.R. McMaster told others he was so concerned about Trump's friend Rudy Giuliani acting as an influence agent on behalf of Turkish or other interests that he had a policy of making sure he was in the Oval Office whenever the form, whenever the former New York mayor visited. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here. And does everyone here realize just how close we were to becoming a dictatorship? I mean, seriously. And does everyone realize just how dangerous Trump's reign of terror in office really was? Take a look at this video clip for yet more insights on just how insane, narcissistic, corrupt, and purely evil this orange disease really is. Influence agent. What did he mean exactly? What are the implications of this? He was concerned about Giuliani's lack of transparency. Giuliani, of course, never served officially in the government because uh, even Trump wouldn't appoint him to be secretary of state. That's the job that Giuliani wanted at the beginning of the thing. So he never had to disclose his clients. There was a concern that he didn't know that McMaster didn't know who on whose behalf Giuliani would be speaking when he entered the Oval Office. And of course, that was one of the questions when it came to the Ukraine issue, which was after McMaster was fired by Trump. Uh, you know, the question was always, uh, was Giuliani working uh, on behalf of people in Ukraine, uh, as well as on Trump's behalf when he was engaging in, uh, you know, telling Trump the conspiracy theories that in some ways led to Trump's first impeachment. Rudy Giuliani isn't the only influence agent in Trump's twisted inner crime circle. This entire criminal empire is built on loyalty to a narcissist whims and disloyalty to the United States of America. Every member was handpicked, not for their skills, not for their competency. They were chosen on how loyal they will be to the crime lord and how quickly disloyal they would be to our own country. Years down the road, historians will marvel in pure shock how any American could support this vile mutant snake. Hopefully this revelation and the ensuing death of MAGA republicanism comes sooner rather than later. The fascist disease needs to be eradicated from our politics to never return again. The January 6 hearings are getting set to resume and Trump is in as much legal hot water as any person in American history. This traitor is already blatantly guilty on a list of charges a mile long. But until Agent Orange is wearing orange, none of us will rest easy. This lunatic stole nuclear secrets to use for blackmail and extortion as a card to play in an attempted hostile takeover of our government. The greatest threat to America in her entire history may very well be the putrid orange slime. Trump behind bars will put the brakes on the MAGA movement pretty quickly, and handing them an epic beating at the ballot box this November will go as long, long ways in defeating this anti-American criminal power trip in its tracks. If they can't get their election deniers in place, then they have no pathway in 2024 or any other time. Their corporate donors are going to start shying away if they think their money is swooping down a bottomless pit. And that's our playbook. We all know the Republican propaganda machine is strong enough to completely hoodwink a big segment of their voter base. That's why we've got a perverse cult on our hands in place of a political party with the GQP. But if we can turn out regular Americans who see the gravity of the situation in front of us and flip Republican votes with those who will put country over party and win big in 22, we can start breathing a sigh of relief. Until then, this is a red alert and all hands are on deck. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.